Hello, my now Photoshop friends. Today we're creating a effect, and it's old film effect, old film effect. It's really easy. You gonna take your background layer and take it, drag it down to the new layer icon. So that way we create a um, copy layer. Now you go to File and Place. What I'm gonna be placing here, it's an image that I previously downloaded from internet. So I basically Google old film texture or old film scratch texture on Google and this is the image that I came up with there is a lot of images and if you are interested to use the one that I'm using for this uh, tutorial I'm gonna leave the in the description below um, a link for my blog where you can find this image and download it to your computer so basically that's what you're placing here it'll place itself as a smart object and that's fine for now and for this tutorial because we are not going to be doing too much to this layer so that's fine we're going to hide it for now you're going to go back to you're going to go back to your um, layer that we just um, copy and you can apply a filter to that and you go to filter pixelate pointalize we want to be creating um, po like point art that's the way you say it in English right people here around me is that how you say it in English pointalize point art point art when you point forget it you know what we're creating I have my sister here and she's not helping me so point art we are creating this this if you go okay to this and just make sure that you are not creating points that are too big for your image so three work for me it for this image uh, we're doing kind of like the noise that all film create in the images now we're gonna change this to overlay so that way we can boost and you know increase the contrast in the colors for our image now the same uh, layer we're gonna blur Gaussian blur it has to be really really subtle also because we don't want to you know all the the actual points to disappear we just want to blur them a little bit so it, it looks soft go okay to this is this is fine for me and we are increasing the the contrast in the colors because in the next step we are going to wash them down so we don't want we don't want to wash down an image that it, it it doesn't have too much color because then we we are going to like just have a, a, a like a very plain image so we increase the 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 contrast in the color so we can wash them down a little bit and still looks you know contrasty okay we next step is um, new adjustment layer icon and you apply a black and white you take the red all the way to the highlights and the right and the yellows too now you change it to difference and take the opacity down a little bit and when I say a little bit it's like almost all the opacity down to 26 24 and as you can see I have here a very like washed down image but it still has contra contrast if I take um, the la the point lights overlay layer and I hide it you see that um, I kinda like take a wash down also the image but I also lose the color so if I uh, put the um, the other layer again it has contrast you know now we're going to deal with our image that we place that is the texture it is really easy the only thing that you need to do with this is change the um, change this to hard light it's going to be very 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 um, dark so I would recommend you if you like like it like this that's fine there is no right or wrong but if you are looking for something more not so dark you just go to new adjustment layer you go to curves and you uh, increase them so that way you can just you know bust a little bit the highlights and 
it looks more um, less dark so I hope you like this subscribe to my channel also if you know Spanish you can go and you know like that Facebook uh, fan page and comment and like the, the video also and share it and so you can be part of this uh, family and I can be part of your life and we can all be very happy thank you